Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our series of 2024 online devotions. The theme of our devotions during the time of Lent is going to be the idea of brokenness, broken people, broken relationships, broken hopes and dreams. However, we are looking forward to Easter Sunday when all that is broken may be restored. First of all, what does it mean to be broken? It means that someone or something no longer functions in the way that it was designed to function. For example, this is one of my favorite mugs. I love it because it has scenes of Paris on it. And I used to be a French teacher, so I love all things French. Um, and I haven't been able to find another one like it, so I still use it even though the handle is broken, but it's much harder to hold the mug and drink coffee from it with a broken handle. You're supposed to be able to hold it like this. So it no longer functions the way it was designed to function. Here's another thing. This is uh, from my Christmas decorations box, a Christmas village that came to me second hand from someone who couldn't use it anymore and um this fellow here as you can see he's supposed to be holding something and looking up at it i have no idea what it was that he's supposed to be holding so i have to just use my imagination i still include him in my christmas village when i put it up but he doesn't look the same as he used to um he doesn't he he doesn't symbolize or represent what he used to. He's broken. This just doesn't only happen to objects. People can be broken too. Illness, injury, or aging can make us feel broken because parts of our body no longer work as they were designed to work. But there's an even deeper kind of brokenness which happens to people sometimes, the brokenness of our souls. Almost all of us can feel <clears throat> broken in some way. Grief can make us feel broken. So can guilt, anger, depression, loneliness, or regret. All of these emotions can make us feel like we can't function in the way we are supposed to. They can make us feel like our lives are useless. They don't work the, the way that they were designed to work. Sometimes we can feel so broken that we wonder if we'll ever be able to function again. We wonder if we might need to be thrown away because we're broken so badly. If you feel that way, you're not alone. There's a reason why all of us feel broken sometimes, and that's because we are. Essentially, all of humanity is broken. The human race as a whole was designed to function a certain way, but in the very beginning, way back in the book of Genesis, humanity was broken. We read that when God created the world, he repeatedly said that his creation was very good. Every part of creation was perfectly designed. The night and day, the earth and sky, the land and the water, and every living thing was in perfect order created and designed for a beautiful and glorious life. And finally, as the icing on the cake, God designed humanity. Genesis tells us male and female, he created them in his own image. He created them. We are then told that mankind was given dominion over the earth and all living things, not because we were supposed to master and control them, but because our role was to represent God on earth. Made in his image, our job was to care for the earth just as God would. Our existence was perfect. 
Under the original plan, we would never have had to worry about food or clothing or even bad weather. All we had to do was simply exist to give glory to God and to love all creation as he loves it. But God gave humanity free choice. That was the reason for placing the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the middle of the garden and telling us we were forbidden to eat from it. God wanted our love to be a choice because after all, love that is forced is not real love. Well, you know the story. Adam and Eve were tempted by the serpent who told them you will be like God. They wanted power and control. They didn't want to just be God's children. They wanted to be God. So they ate the forbidden fruit. And the natural consequence of that was spelled out in Genesis chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. Dust you are, and to dust you will return. So there you have it. All the problems that come with being a broken human, pain, corrupt power structures, the necessity to wrestle our food out of the ground where once it had been freely given and finally death, a return to the dust from which God made us. Absolutely every way in which we are broken is the result of humanity's choice to seize power and control for themselves rather than living the perfectly designed existence God had planned for us. So yes, <clears throat> we are broken, every last one of us. This is what we all have to recognize during the season of Lent. But as we go through Lent and learn more about our brokenness and God's ultimate plan, we will learn that our brokenness is not the end of the story. After all, as a famous songwriter once said, there are cracks in everything. That's how the light gets in. Let us pray. Lord, we give our suffering, our sadness, our loneliness into your hands. We recognize that you have known us since the creation of the world. May the cracks in us, the brokenness, only serve to let your light shine through more clearly. Take our earthly pain and suffering and use them for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I wish you all a blessed day.